Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is my review of Men in Black International. Now this film is the fourth film in the Men in Black franchise and it basically serves as a reboot for the franchise itself. Um, it takes place after the events of the original trilogy starring Will Smith and just does its own thing, introduces new characters, and uh, has a world saving scenario which puts our two new heroes, uh, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson aka Thor and Valkyrie. Uh, in the midst of it and having to save said world. And Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, they're easily some of the best parts of this film, in my opinion, because I thought that their chemistry worked really, really well in this movie. We have Chris Hemsworth, who's kind of this best agent ever, who's kind of got a cocky attitude, and he's, he's kind of like how Thor was in the first film, more or less. He's kind of just an arrogant asshole. And yeah, Tessa Thompson, who's this new recruit, she ends up finding MIB um, and gets recruited as a result of it. She's been obsessed with space and aliens and all that stuff ever since she was a young girl and uh, her parents got uh, zapped by the mind eraser thing and she did not and so she's just always known this uh, secret and been very very curious about finding out the source of it. That said, the story of this film, not the best in my opinion and you kind of realize that after you start thinking about the movie itself there's just kind of a lot of coincidental things which end up happening uh, and things which aren't really all that well explained. Um, there's also a very predictable twist. If I even kind of saw this coming based on the trailer, which is not the best marketing idea, I think. Part of the fact that it kind of has a weak story is the fact that they don't really do a lot with the villains or the opposition side of this movie. For the majority, it's just these two opposing silent figures who uh, come out of nowhere and kind of try to hunt down our heroes and attack them once in a while. It, and for a large portion of the movie, just towards the end, I forgot that they were in the movie at all because they just kind of show up at the end and do a thing and then they're gone and it's like, yeah. The aliens and the CGI around them also looks very good in this movie. I really had no issues with how any of them were portrayed. They all looked very unique. And I liked seeing the fact that we had some cameos from old alien characters, not the actual characters, but the aliens that looked like them. And we had a lot of new ones as well, including Camilo Dangiani's uh, little mini pawn character. And I thought he was a fun addition as well. The film's also pretty funny. I was laughing quite a lot and it just had a lot of comedic moments. Also, thanks to Hemsworth and Thompson, uh, just having good chemistry and having good comedic moments along with um, Nanjiani's performance as well. I uh, just all flowed really well, and I had a fun time with this movie overall. Like I said, not the best story, not the best plot, kind of lazy villains, and not the most exciting ending, I guess. Uh, but it does the job. I had a fun time with this movie. I thought it was funny, and it was a fun time if you're not really expecting too much. And it's definitely a film that I would love to see a sequel for, honestly. I thought that it kind of does enough to warrant one, and I hope that it does well enough in the box office to get one, because I think, again, it's a fun movie and a good time, so go check it out. But guys, those are my thoughts on Men in Black International. Let me know your in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Also, let me know what your favorite Men in Black movie is in general. Love to hear it in the comments down below. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.